Hello friends! Welcome to my channel Creating Essence. I am Megan. Thanks for stopping by today. <sighs> today I woke up in a lot of pain and it was pain, it's a particular kind of pain in particular places. Unfortunately I know it well and I said hey why don't I show my friends a day in the life of a chronic fatigue flare. It's hard to tell when one of these starts how long it's gonna last. I might feel fine in two to three days. I might continue to decline for two to three months. It's impossible to tell. So when I wake up like this, I'm almost always instantly racked with anxiety. And my brain begins like searching for the trigger because so many things once your body has developed this autoimmune condition so many things can trigger it uh, just hormone shifts in your natural body stress illness dietary choices I mean I feel like I've talked about nothing but Hurricane Michael for well, I mean, he hit a week ago today, actually, but I feel like I've done nothing but talk about him. But I mean, it's been so stressful since then. It's been physically taxing. There's been very little sleep some nights, um, and it's been mentally and emotionally really stressful. So. It doesn't surprise me and I kind of, I had an idea it was coming. I have these little precursors, like when I'd lay down to go to bed at night, I'd, I'd get uh, almost a like restless leg syndrome, but I know that it's like uh, nerve pain going down my legs into my feet because inflammation is starting different places. And I don't know if you could tell in my last couple of videos, like my uh, grocery haul and the shopping for the refrigerator, my face was really puffy. And I like could hardly keep my eyes open because my face was puffy. Yeah, those are those are precursors that I I see coming, and I just hope I can head them off with like the right dietary choices and some extra sleep. And sometimes it works, and other times it doesn't. And when I woke up this morning, and my hands were throbbing like my hand that's just holding this lightweight tripod is aching. I'm holding it right now my hands are aching and my elbows are just throbbing and even if I try to lift my coffee cup it's gonna be painful and like sometimes I'll get tremors from it um, and my feet ache because there's so many little joints in the metatarsals there that get some inflammation and I just my head is just a fog it was so hard to wake up. My alarm went off at 5.15 and I was like, oh shoot. So I just shut it off and snuggled up to my husband until he got up at 6.30. I'm not like, <clears throat> I don't want anyone to think that I'm like boo-hooing. There are so many people that have it worse. Goodness gracious. Friends that live very nearby have a two-year-old undergoing three years of intense chemotherapy for leukemia. A f homeschooling large family I follow, their son just died of a brain tumor. And I know so many people fighting and living battles like that, that as much as these flares can be debilitating, they're not life-threatening and I'm really grateful. I'm grateful that even though my quality of life, even some days are extremely inhibited, I'm still living. So with that perspective, I just figured I'd show you guys a day in the life with a chronic fatigue flare. We already had breakfast, had a couple eggs, lots of water, and now that I have some food in my stomach, I need to go take my supplements. I have a whole pile of supplements I take somewhat regularly because they're good supportive um, nutrient based things but when uh, when I'm in a flare I take them three times a day I'll show you what they are 
and why I take them. You can check them out. And no, it's nothing I sell. It's just things that I've found that are good, clean <sighs> supplements that are really effective for me. Reese, are you jumping on the trampoline? Good jelly kitty. Mm, jelly kitty girl. Should probably go get eggs while I'm out here. We have a cannibal chicken. Um, we found that some days we'll only get like 18 eggs and the eggs we get out of the egg boxes will be like have yolk and stuff all over them. Somebody eats them. Hey girls. Got any eggs for me? Oh. Yeah, see, that's the laying box. We, we put a rock in there. That is sort of shaped like an egg in hopes that if they tried to eat eggs often enough and pecked a rock instead they would lose interest. So far it hasn't been super effective. But... Hey punks. How you doing? Give me some eggs. This is the lineup of my uh, little friends. This is Garden of Life Primal Defense Ultra and Garden of Life Mood Plus. They are both probiotics. They are many strains, really high population, and I have yet to find anything that is the quality and the diversity in those that I really need. I also have Sulfurzyme, which is a supplement from Young Living. It is MSM and Ninja Wolfberry. This is just a vitamin D3 capsule, 10,000 IUs. I take uh, one of those daily, even when I take everything else three times, I only take one of those. And then turmeric curcumin with bioperine, three of those, three times a day. And this is organic red maca root, raw. I take five of those twice a day. I don't take one at night because it can make it so I can't sleep. This is a pain relief cream called Cool Azul from Young Living that I use topically for pain and inflammation. This is a essential oil blend called Deep Relief that I use for the phantom itching. If you have these types of struggles, you know what I mean. Your skin will just itch. Uh, just horribly, horribly until you could just scratch your skin off and there's absolutely nothing there. It's just inflammation in the skin. This cools it and helps it so that it doesn't itch and I don't scratch my skin off. Um, and then when the anxiety about, it's more fear of, you know, will this get better sort of thing. I use an essential oil blend called Joy and this um, floral tincture called Rescue Remedy. So these four things I take as needed and the rest, I take these three times a day, that once a day, that three times a day, and that twice a day. My kids are fighting. I'm gonna knock these down the hatch and carry on with our day. <laughs> We're all just hanging out. Ella's over there, you can't see her. in there. Oh, sorry. I just couldn't with my brain right now with the little boys, so I sent them into my bedroom to watch some Paw Patrol. So today, the television is babysitting for me. I did some things with Aaron, got to reading, and he really struggled with reading. He's funny like that. He's super stubborn, so I can tell when it's attitude and not actual struggle. Today it was attitude. So I made him tough it out and finish it up. And then I just said, you know what? I love you, but I need a little break. So go watch Paw Patrol with your little brother. <laughs> but I'm out here in the living room on the couch with the pup pup and my blanket and a cup of coffee. Um, I have baked six dozen banana muffins because that was the last thing that needed salvaging from 
um, the freezer breaking and stuff. So I just made a whole bunch of muffins, got the kids involved, so it wasn't as much work for me. And uh, just letting them cool so I can put them in the freezer. And because I figured out that um, one dozen muffins fits like perfectly in a gallon size of black bag. So I just put them in there and that's about one meal for us. can pull out a dozen muffins and have it with something else and it's a good breakfast or it's just a good snack by itself. So just about 11 o'clock so I need to start thinking about lunch. I might feed them muffins. Just kidding. No break. Just got a call from my husband that he got a call from the tree service saying that they have a lot of wood chips for us, which is awesome. Such a blessing because last year we had to pay for wood chips from another place. This place, this is just a tree service that has chopped up hurricane refuse to give us. So now we need to do some work outside to get ready. This is where last year's wood chip pile is. We still have a little bit of wood chips left here, but uh, we also have our firewood pile. Thanks, Cooper. You're a gentleman. So we need to get this area picked up, probably move the van back quite a bit, make sure it's not in the way, and uh, get this stuff done. Maybe move the chickens, because the chickens are up here. Go put a jacket on, Crazy Cakes. Okay. Okay, crazy kids. All right, we picked up all the shovels and toys and stuff that were over here. <laughs> we moved the van, moved the chicken tractor. Now we need to figure out, I think we're gonna put the firewood over here. These are my compost bins for the winter time. I think we're gonna make a makeshift pallet and stack our firewood here. That way it's readily accessible and we can cover it. All right, the pallet is built. My little uh, tool holder, thank you so much. Just made a basic pallet for us to stack wood across, keep it dry, off the ground, and we'll cover it with a tarp. Now we need to get going on the wood. pile is stacked. Woohoo! All the wood that we have so far. Whew. The pallet we made is uh, six feet long, about six and a half feet long by two feet wide. And then we've got that stack. It is taller than you. So we've got this whole area cleaned out. We still have a little bit of older wood chips left. I don't care. They can decompose. We've got the wood pile cleaned up found all sorts of fun bugs. And Lots a brown of, recluse. Yeah, we found a brown recluse, studied him, and then killed him. Are you hungry? Yes. Very. Shall we go inside and eat lunch? So that's real life. Doesn't really matter. I'm feeling like absolute garbage. And my husband calls and says, something's got to get done on a timeline. I got to do it. <laughs> just got to be done. And now I think I really am going to just feed the kids banana muffins and like raw carrots and some cashews. Cover all the food groups. Call it good. Were you a big helper boy? Yep. What happened to you when we were stacking wood? Gabe accidentally hit me in the forehead with some wood. Oh no, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Did Annie take good care of you when she brought you inside? What'd she do for you? Did she put frankincense on your head? Yep. What and also sister. I watched a little bit of Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol? Did it make your head feel better? Mm, yeah. Kind of. 
So the kiddos are laying down for nap time and I was going to nap too, but I was just so hungry. And yes, I'm sorry, I've got a mess going on here from Muffin Marathon, but usually I would just go to bed. But I was so hungry I couldn't go to bed. <laughs> so I grabbed some salad greens and a sertrum from the garden because there's lots of vitamin C and iron and stuff in there. Some kale from the garden and garlic. And then chopped up one of those big portobello mushrooms and I'm just sauteing them. I have these leftover roasted diced sweet potatoes that I'm going to toss in there to warm up after the mushrooms are cooked. And I'll top it with some feta and just pile it on top of my salad greens. Because that in there will kind of make its own dressing with the garlic and olive oil and salt and pepper. And that's what I'm going to eat for lunch. <laughs> Lots of nutrients and protein and like six cloves of garlic. All right, back to my spot on the couch to eat. So I've been sitting here, <clears throat> I ate my lunch, getting stuff done, and I still have this pile of all sorts of homeschool corrections to be done. But I have now spiked a fever, which is, I mean, it's, it's low grade. It's just common when I have a flare. When I've pushed too hard, my body just says like, and now I will have a fever and you will sit down. So I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I need to get the kids up now and finish these corrections and hang on until my husband gets home from work. Alright, Javi's on his way home from work, so I'm getting dinner going. Just some baked chicken quarters and Brussels sprouts and carrots. Watching my YouTube subs. I'm loading load the dishwasher, but the kitchen is still a mess because survival mode. I'm getting dinner made, and then I'm probably gonna sit the rest of the night and do nothing once he gets home because that's what he lets me do when I'm not feeling good. It's 7.23, and I just woke up. I made dinner, uh, gave people food, and then climbed in bed. And I just woke up because the kid wanted something. My husband was taking care of everything, don't worry. And uh, I think I'm gonna keep myself awake for the next half hour until the kids uh, are, uh, until their bedtime. <sighs> And then I'll go back to bed. But this is a typical day with the flare. And I hope tomorrow's not another one. But I thought I'd share it today with you all. Um, if you know this kind of life, I see you. <laughs> um, yeah. That's all. And the TV's awfully loud. So if you like this video, Give her a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Bye, friends.